Well, happy Saturday to you. It's time for the Sunday Picks from the Kyle Studio. So, uh, first up here, we have the Browns and the Ravens. I'm going with the home team on that one. Um, Buccaneers and the Panthers. Oh, Brady's got to be pissed as hell. And the Panthers are without Christian McCaffrey because he went to the Niners. So, uh, no brainer. Buccaneers are coming in to Carolina and they're going to do work. Next up, we got the Falcons and the Bengals. Well, after the ass whooping that the Falcons put down on the Niners, playing their own game, run it and pass when you can. Um, I think the Falcons are going to take the Bengals on that one. And we go to Dallas where the Lions are playing the Cowboys. Now, interestingly enough, Dak is coming in and who knows? There might be some type of Mitch match on uh, the rhythm because Cooper Rush was doing a great job. Um, but Dak is back. I'm going to go Cowboys. The Lions are garbage. Uh, Giants and Jaguars. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we're going to go Giants because uh, was it Daniel Jones, the Bruce Campbell lookalike, is just doing a great job right now with that, that coaching staff. Everything's looking good in New York. Going Giants over Jaguars. Now let's move down here into Washington. The Packers and the Commanders. Aaron Rodgers, best believe, he's going to come back and win this one, taking Packers over the Commanders. And going down here to Tennessee with the Colts and the Titans. Now I watched um, Matt Ryan play on primetime. Was it against, was against the Broncos? I forget who it was. But he did not look great. Um, the Titans aren't stellar either but we're going with the home team again titans on this one texans and the raiders the raider nation one in four raider nation against the texans one three and one what is this matchup i'm telling you right now it's raiders baby just win baby isn't that what they say I think the Raiders are going to go on a massive winning streak from this point on. There's no reason the Raiders should be one in four. So, let's go Jets and Broncos. Okay, Jets all the way. Uh, they're doing great. The Broncos have been struggling. Uh, Russell Wilson hasn't been able to be that quarterback that they wanted him to be. And the Jets, with Robert Sala... They look very, very prominent. So we're going Jets on that. Oh my goodness, here we go. The Chiefs versus the Niners! Let's go! This is going to be such a good game, even without the McCaffrey trade. We'll see if McCaffrey is actually in that game. But aside from that, this is the only game I have a prediction for, and I think it's going to be a good one because here's a rematch. There's a bad taste in the mouth from the 49ers, and the Chiefs are trying they're, 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 they're trying to stay ahead of the curve here. But I say 24-27, overtime, Robbie Gold kicks a field goal. Let's go. Let's go, Niners. We got this. All right. So, Seahawks and Chargers. I want to say the Chargers, but... Pete Carroll, great coach, really believes in his players, and Geno Smith is doing so good. So I'm going to say this one is a tie. And let's scoot on into Sunday night here. Uh, Steelers and Dolphins. There's quarterback uncertainty. Kenny Pickett, um, not sure if he's going to be back, and Mitch Trubisky will be in there. And on the Dolphins' side, um, Tua Tango Viola, He's not really clear to be yet back, so we'll probably have Teddy Bridgewater. Um, however, with the way the Steelers have been playing, I'm going to go Dolphins. Dolphins for sure. And let's go into Monday Night Football. Bears and Patriots. You got the 2-4 and four Bears and the 3-3 three and three Patriots. But you also have Fields versus Mac Jones, which they came out of the same draft class, and granted... Bilicek is a very good coach, but I don't think it's going to... I think Fields is going to come out on top of Mac Jones here. So I got the Bears on that one. So there's my picks. 